Next, welcome to fourth grade, chapter five, lesson six. We're going to go ahead and get started um, with number two. Um, it's giving us a rule, and it's giving us the number to start with. Okay, so our first one, um, and it says to write the first 12 numbers in the pattern. Okay, so the first one, we're going to start with 95. Okay, so we need to do one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. I just did that because it's easier than trying to keep counting them over and over and over again to see how many I have. Okay. Easier to just do a little bit. Okay. So, first one, we're going to start with 95. Okay. Once it's to subtract seven. Every single time, we're going to subtract 7, okay? So whatever that answer is, we're going to subtract 7 from that, okay? Until we have all these blanks filled in, okay? So 5 can't take away 7. I'm going to borrow 1. 15 take away 7 is 8, and then I'm going to bring down this 8. So my next number is 88, okay? Now I'm going to subtract 7 again, okay? 8 minus 7 is 1. Bring down my 8. 81. Okay, I'm going to subtract 7 again. Okay, 1 can't take away 7. I'm going to borrow 1, make that 11. 11 minus 7 is 4. Bring down my 7. Okay, I'm going to subtract 7 again. Okay, 4 can't take away 7, so I'm going to borrow 1. Making it 14. 14 take away 7 is 7. I'm going to bring my 6 down. Okay. All right. I'm going to subtract 7 again. Okay. 7 minus 7 is 0. Bring my 6 down. I have 60. Okay. Minus 7. Okay. Zero can't take away seven. Oh, you guys can't see that. Sorry. I'm going to borrow one. I'm going to make that a 10. 10 minus seven is three, and I'm going to bring my five down. Okay. Now, I'm going to rewrite that 53 up here, and I'm going to subtract seven because you can't see. I'm running out of room down here. Okay. So, three can't take away seven, so I'm going to borrow one, making that 13. 13 minus seven is six. Bring down my 4. 46. Okay. I'm going to subtract 7 again. Okay. 6 can't take away 7. I'm going to borrow 1. 16 minus 7 is 9. And I'm going to bring down my 3. 39. Okay. And then minus 7 again. 9 minus 7 is 2. I'm going to bring my 3 down. Okay, I'm going to subtract 7 again. 2 can't take away 7, bar 1, make it 12. 12 minus 7 is 5, bring down my 2. Okay, I'm going to subtract 7 again. 5 can't take away 7, I'm going to bar 1. 15 take away 7 is 8, and I'm going to bring down my 1. Okay. And last one, I'm going to take away 7. 8 minus 7 is 1, and I'm going to bring down that other one. And an 11. Okay? Okay, guys, write down the work. You're not going to get credit without it. Okay? And then write down your terms. Okay? So, I'm going to show you a little trick because this one is giving you two steps. So, yes, you could take the number 4, you could add 15 to it, and then you could subtract 10, okay? Or, okay, these are our terms. So, if I have 15 and I subtract 10, then I have 5. So, really, my rule is plus 5, okay? So, my first one is 4, okay? Then I have 1, 2, 3, 4. Five, six, seven, 
8, 9, 10, 11, 12 of them to fill. Okay? All right. So, 4. And I'm just going to add 5 to it. Okay? So, 4 plus 5, 9. Okay? Plus 5 is 14. Okay? Plus 5. Is 19. Okay, you should start to notice a pattern right about now that every other number ends in a 4 and every other number ends in a 9. Okay, so I would quite possibly at this point start putting 4 for the last digit, every other one, and a 9 for the other digits. Okay, now you'll notice that it's going up tens, okay? So 9 plus 10 is 19, 4 plus 10 is 14. So I'm just going to add another 10. So I have 14, add 10, 24, then 34, then 44, then 54, and lastly 64, okay? Same thing here, it's going up by 10. Done. Okay. All right. The next one is going to be a little more tricky. Okay. So we're going to start with two. We're going to add one and then multiply that by two. Okay. So again, we're going to start with two and then we need to do one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Okay? All right. So if we add one, we get three. Three times two is six. Okay? Six. Okay? So now add one and then multiply by two. Well, Adding 1 gets us 7. When we multiply by 2, we get 14. Okay? We add 1. We multiply that by 2. Okay? So we get 15 multiplied by 2 is 30. Okay? I'm going to put our 30 up here. I'm going to add 1. And then I'm going to multiply by 2. Okay, 31 times 2 is 62. Okay, these numbers are going to get kind of big. Okay, sorry guys, did not open that page again. Okay, all right. Yep, okay. Oh. Okay, so it's actually, oddly enough, telling us how weird, okay, that when we take our two and we add one, guys, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wipe this out so that we can... Um, do it the way that it's telling us to, okay? And I don't know why it's not doing all of them this way, just this one, okay? Okay, so it's telling us that our next digit, since we started with two, we're adding one, should be three, okay? I don't know why, it just is, okay? So then we multiply by two, we get six, okay? Add one, we get seven. Multiply by two, we get 14. Add one, 15. Multiply by two, 30. Add one, 31. 
multiply by 2, 62. Add 1, 63. Multiply by 2, 126. Add 1, 127. Multiply by 2. Okay, so 2 times 7, 14. Carry the 1. 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5. And 2 times 1 is 2, so 254. There we go. Okay. All right. All right, guys. Confusing a little bit, but we got it. Okay. Okay. So we're going to go down to number five. So if Barb is making bead necklace, she strings one white bead, then three blue beads, then one white, and so on. Write the numbers for the first eight beads that are white. Okay. So just the white beads. Okay. So one white bead, right? Okay, so one white bead, then three blues, okay? Then the white bead, okay? So five, then three blues, oops, sorry, adding three, we get us eight. Okay, then the white bead. Oops, ah, sorry guys. I'm adding in my head, so I'm writing what I'm adding. Okay, then three white, uh, three blue beads. That gets us 12. Then the white bead, which gets us 13. Okay, so you'll notice that every time it's going up by four. Okay, so first eight beads that are white, so we need to do four more. Okay, so we're going to add four to 13. That's 17. Add four, 21. Add four, 25. And that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One more. Add four for 29. Okay. And the rule is add four. Okay. Okay. All right, guys. The next one. An artist is arranging tiles in rows to decorate a wall. Each new row has two fewer tiles than the row below it. If the first row has 23, how many tiles are in the seventh row? Okay, so we have to do this seven times, okay? So 23, and we have to minus two, okay? There's our first one, minus two. There's our second one, minus two. There's our third one, minus two. There's our fourth one, minus two. Five, minus two. Oops, sorry, that one's not one. <laughs> this one has been one, sorry. And then minus two, one more time, and I, there's our last one, okay? I promise we'll get there, okay? So 23 minus two, that's gonna be 21. I'm going to take away 2 again. I'm going to get 19. Take away 2 again. I'm going to get 17. Take away 2, 15. Take away 2, 13. Take away 2, 11. Take away 2, 9. 9 tiles. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh, sorry, guys. I went one extra. Sorry about that. It was already giving us one row. So the seventh row, I had to go back one. So it was giving us one row. I only had to do six more. Okay. So 11 tiles. Sorry, guys. Apparently, my I shouldn't be teaching math today. I'm tired. It's Friday here. Okay. On the back, you guys are going to do the last lesson check of the chapter, and we are going to do the spiral review. Okay. So. All right. To win a game, Roger needs to score 2,000 points. So far, he has scored 837 points. How many more points does Roger need to score? So 2,000 minus 837. Now, you will notice that not a single one of those zeros can take away any of those numbers. So I need to go all the way over, 
make that a one, make that a 10, okay? But now I need to borrow one for here. So that's gonna be a nine, that's gonna be a 10. Then for the last time, I need to borrow one, making that a nine and that a 10, okay? So now 10 minus seven is three, nine minus three is six, nine minus eight is one, and then I can bring that one down. And don't forget to label with points, okay? All right. Do you want to use mental math to find seven times 53? Write an expression she could use. Well, she could do seven times 50, and then she could add that to seven times three. That'd be pretty easy, okay? Pat listed all the numbers that have 15 as a multiple, okay? Write the numbers in Pat's list. Well, I could multiply one and get to 15. I could multiply not two. I could multiply three and get to 15. And I could multiply five and get to 15. And I could multiply 15 and get to 15. Okay, because one times 15 and three times five or five times three or 15 times one. Okay, all right. Complete the following sentence using the correct term. Okay, so 14 is a blank of 7 and 14. Well, 14 is a common multiple. There's so many things that could go in there. But common multiple, which means if we multiplied 7, we could get to 14. And if we multiplied 14, we could get to 14. Okay, so it is a common multiple. If we multiply things, we could get to 14. Okay, common multiple. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out for chapter five. Come on back for chapter six. See you soon.